So whether you collect Masterpiece, Mainline, Marvel Legends, Gundam, or Star Wars, or even comic books. Do you have an end game or a finish line that you are approaching or at least have sight of? Because I'm not sure I do. What's up YouTube? I'm Alpha Prime and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm just going to be discussing end game collecting. Do you have a finish line in sight? Do you have in your head once I get X, Y and Z in my collection that is me finished? Because I do, but I don't know when it'll ever come. When it comes to my Gundams, I'm finished there. I have all the five original Gundams from Gundam Wing, which was my favorite Gundam series. It was actually my first introduction to Gundam itself uh, back in the old Cartoon Network days. Uh, I think it was actually maybe in Toonami. I'm not sure, but it was definitely in and around that area. And I absolutely loved the show. So for me, the model kits, I had model kits over the years and stuff, and they just didn't hold up. But the, the new ones that they had released, they are perfect. I am very happy to have them now in my collection. Um, You've seen them in the little intro part for the video. I have the fame, five main ones, and I have the Wing Gundam Zero, which was like the upgrade, and I have the Tall Geese. So they were the main ones that I really wanted. And I am happy to say that I have just completed that. I am very happy to just tick that box done. Now, how does it get harder then? Marvel Legends for me, for the Spider-Man, I think I need one or two more characters if they do. And that is that finished for me. Obviously, you could go and get a whole load of them. Uh, uh, but for me, I'm just picking my favorite characters from that. X-Men, exact same thing. The main X-Men that I remember from the 90s show, that is the ones that I really want in my collection. So I think I have maybe Professor X um, and a couple of other ones, Juggernaut and stuff. So I'm waiting to see if we get those guys, I can round off that collection. So those will be ticked off and that is that done. When it comes to Star Wars and me collecting, I really do just pick my way through it. I am not a completionist in any shape or form with Star Wars. Uh, I pick the main things that I really like. I've got the Millennium Falcon sitting here. Big ship. I was very fortunate uh, to get the Mandalorian ship, the Razor Crest. So that is perfect for me. And as you see in the intro video, I have some Star Wars figures just up there out of sight of the video. Um, but I see them every time I come in, obviously. For me, I just pick and choose certain characters that I like throughout the years, throughout the different shows, uh, movies and stuff out there. And I just pick and choose my way through it. But the characters. So Star Wars for me uh, is just a, a pick a character sort of thing. I don't have really, uh, I mean, if they didn't release any more from now on, wouldn't bother me. I have got everything as of now. I have everything that I want in the Star Wars. Uh, I'm very happy with that. But then comes Transformers. And that is the hardest bit for me. I feel personally, now with the main line, the way that they're doing it, I have pretty much, I am right there with the main line. I have been actually selling off some of my older stuff and replacing. I will do a video on that about replacing certain figures and stuff when new ones come out. Uh, as I've said in quite a lot of my videos up until now, that I am actually getting to the point now where the Studio 86 Hot Rod is now my pinnacle Hot Rod in my collection. The Ultra Magnus, the same. Ratchet, Ironhide, they're all the same. I think they are the chug scale representation of those figures for me. So therefore, I don't think they can ever really do anything now that could knock those ones off the shelf. For me, that is me done with those there's a couple more figures a couple more characters that i would like them to do whether or not they actually do them is a different story um i mean it's hasbro and they like to go back and do characters they've already done so the chug for me is almost there um i think there's not much else 
that I can pick through. I mean, I know they're doing the animated characters and they're doing, I think even rescue bots, I think was coming in the main line. And they're just not really in my sights. I'm more trying to round out the G1 seasons one to four, and that would be very good for me. Uh, although I do like some of the Armada characters and picking up the Armada ones because that is where I sort of got back into Transformers again, watching the Armada series. Uh, I think I was a teenager then, but I really enjoyed Armada because it was a new tech, a new look at things. I love the Minicon concept. And that leads me to Masterpiece. I have really slowed down on the Masterpiece front. Um, I think I've got pretty much all the characters I really want. There's a couple of more to maybe just round out. I've always wanted the, the opening cast. You know, um, that first episode when they land on Earth and they do the Autobot roll call and stuff. And I, I, I would like to just have that cast at the very least and the 1986 movie cast so i i'm nearly sure we're almost done with those i could be wrong just looking at that shelf it does look like we've pretty much got all of the characters or at least all the characters that i can think of right now but i've always wanted like i said to have that roll call you know when jazz is calling out the names and they were all transforming into their alt modes and stuff that that was brilliant back in the day i absolutely loved that uh so i've always wanted just to round out that cast and as far as the decepticons the decepticons were easier because there wasn't as many decepticons there's a lot of recolors but i mean you had reflector you had the seekers you had megatron and soundwave and you had soundwave's tapes um that's who i need for the 86 shelf i need a ram horn i think that would round out that shelf then so for me, I am getting so close to that end game. I have to finish off, as you can see, the fans toys, aerial bots and the protective bots. And I passed on the Predaking uh, that I can't remember the name of the company now, but it just was too stylized for me. It looked awesome. Don't don't get me wrong. That thing looked absolutely awesome. Uh, but it just was too stylized for me. It has to be more G1-ish for me for the Masterpiece. Because that's where I see Masterpiece. But I would actually really like to see an Abominus, uh, a Computron, and a Predaking. You know, I, do, I would like to see someone really tackle a G1 accurate one. And of course, what are they doing right now? Devastator. Three companies are doing Devastator. I mean, come on. I mean, there's more characters. Why is all three of them doing Devastator when there's so many other combiners there that could have been done and they could swing back and do their version in a few years' time? I mean, Fans Toys have announced the Devastator. They haven't finished either of their combiners. They haven't finished Superion and they haven't finished their Menasaur. So why are they doing, Why are they releasing stuff for Men or Devastator? You know why? It's because they're trying to count, count because they're trying to cut off their competition. X Transbots, they've completed their Menasaur. They're now on to Devastator. No problem with that. MMC, still waiting to finish Protector Bots, but they announced a Devastator. That's a talk for another video. Anyway, that's where I'm at with my collection. I feel I'm getting very close to that finish line. I think I will be a very happy person, believe you me, and no more than my wallet. My wallet will be very happy um, once I've finally picked out the last couple of bits and pieces uh, over the next whatever time um, that we actually possibly get it. And then I can just say, done. And look at all this awesomeness. I know people say, you're never done, whatever, but I do feel like I'm very close very close and especially the way prices are going and the way that they're just redoing figures and stuff it's like perfect that just makes it a lot easier for me anyway so where are you at with your collection let me know in the comment section below are you close to completing your collection do you have no end game maybe you just pick and choose the way that i do with my star wars are you happy enough if it just finished tomorrow wouldn't bother you or are you like 
really looking for maybe that three, four, maybe five characters just to finish it and tick that box. Or maybe you think that they can actually do better than the mainline figures that we've got so far. Like the Hot Rod, the 86 Hot Rod, do you think that they could really make that a lot better? Let me know in the comment section or do a video. Comment below if you do the video so that I can follow to your channel and watch that video and subscribe. And that's it for today's episode guys. I hope you really enjoyed this. It just has been playing in my mind and I really wanted to just get that out there uh, to see where you're at with your collection and to see pretty much where I'm at with my collection. So don't forget to like, comment below and subscribe. And until next time, stay awesome.